Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow and we're back with Kodelka. In our last episode, we ran into Elaine's ghost in a portrait. Kodelka channeled it and we talked with her. She asked us to destroy her body because Patrick's resurrection ceremony did not bring her soul back. It just brought her body back. And now her soul is trapped on this plane, so we have to destroy her body. In order to do that, I think we're going to need this acid. I assume that that's what the acid's for. I found it a long time ago, and I just got the glass bottle in Patrick's uh, quarters earlier. In his little testing area or whatever. We were turned away from there because we didn't have something to destroy the body, I guess. That's what it felt like anyway, so I guess we'll head over this way. And make our way back towards Patrick's quarters, and maybe we'll be good. Well, I can actually stop by the... We can try and go through the gargoyle as well. I guess let's take a look at that. We'll head over that way. Uh, Charlotte's cell, then we can climb down. That'll put us into Patrick's quarters, I believe. Oh, the dungeon, then Patrick's quarters is after this. Okay. Kind of trying to remember exactly what the path is here. There we go. Now we're back in Patrick's quarters. So if we go out this door... Oh, we had a pretty good spree there of running through rooms without getting in fights, but here we go. All right, what do we got? Uh, this guy again? Alright, shouldn't be a problem. We'll hit him with a tornado and that'll probably be it, I don't know. Don't think we should have too much trouble with him. Magic, tornado, blast him. He moves forward, starts casting a spell. Since he moved forward, Edward can now hit him with the spear. Boom! Okay, not great damage there, but whatever. We'll wait. Oh, did we silence him? Because that's great. That's awesome. We can't cast a spell now. I don't know if I silenced him or paralyzed him. I see a red status ailment there, but I can't read what it says. Alright. Hopefully this just finishes him. So I'm going to go to the gargoyle. I was told in the comments by Icus Dominator that the gargoyle is a secret uh, mini boss or secret super boss or something like that. So, I don't- yeah, he is silenced. Cool. So I don't know if we're actually going to be able to beat the gargoyle, but I guess we'll go take a look and see what it looks like. Kinda doubt that we're going to be able to pull anything off there, but we'll see. We're fairly strong. I don't know if we're strong enough to take on a uh, super boss, though, but we'll find out. Yeah, I'm level 32. Um, I'm having my doubts. <laughs> we're probably going to get smoked. But we'll find out. Drop some more points around here. No items. Okay, so if I go out this way, we should get back out to the church inner grounds. There we go. And then if I go this way... I think down here... Yeah, there we go. Church door side. So if we go in here, we should be able to run into the gargoyle. And climb up the steps. Alright. There's a gargoyle inside. Maybe if the three of you work together, you can defeat it. There's a gargoyle inside. Do you still want to enter? Man, it is warning me away from this. Yeah, sure, let's go in. Let's see what we got. Okay. I don't see the gargoyle, though. Where you at, gargoyle? Hello? He's hiding. Does it play peekaboo? Hello, can I walk up the stairs? Thank you. Okay. Do I have to go all the way over here? Or as you try to proceed, a gargoyle attacks you. Okay, yep. Well, let's see what we got. Last time, when we first ran into it, the gargoyle didn't actually try to fight us. So I guess we'll find out what's happening here. Okay, hello, Mr. Gargoyle. He's flying up. Oh, no, we're not winning this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You did 4,000 on a physical attack? I'm getting out of here. Nope, we running. Let us get out. There we go. <laughs> no way. <laughs> we're, we're not pulling that off. Are you kidding me? Okay, well... Uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, we definitely can't do that. Let's go ahead and heal Edward back up. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> There we go. Give him a couple heals there. Yeah. You feeling better, Edward? Got socked by a gargoyle pretty hard there. 
4,000. And that was on Edward, who is our strongest defender. Oh, boy. Guess we'll have to take care of that gargoyle boss later. Well, uh, I guess we need to go back to Patrick's quarters. Like, maybe we can get... Maybe we should go talk to Roger again. Maybe that's what we need to do. Now that we've seen Elaine and done all that stuff. Let's see, back over this way, at least the Patrick's quarters. There we go. I'm back through the door. Alright. So let's see here. I believe that Roger was back over here. So we'll pop over here and see if he's still around. Who wants to fight me this time? I bet I can take you. Yeah. You're not a gargoyle. I don't know how we're going to take care of that gargoyle, though. He did that much physical damage. I bet he does a bunch of... I bet he does a bunch of uh, magic damage, too. Although we did just get a reflect spell, so maybe that'll help us out with that. Like, we need to be way higher level to do anything. It seems like. Higher level and better gear. If we can find it. Oops, I did not mean to move there. I wanted to move a little bit closer. I guess I could have cast a spell, but whatever. Go ahead and hit him. Done enough? Not quite. He's probably got 2,500 or 3,000 health. I'm gonna step forward and spell. Yeah, I thought it would be a spell. Go ahead and hit him. This will probably finish him. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Well, there we go. That's another one down. It might be good to start uh, casting some spells just to boost them. Like, maybe the uh, stat-up spells and the reflect spells. Maybe we can use James for those, since we have Kodelka being an attacker. It's kind of my idea at the moment. Let's raise his mind, get a little bit more agility, and maybe some more health going. That seems fair enough. J-Ring? Sure. Oh. Uh, is there anything here I want to throw away? I don't know. There's probably some items here I don't need anymore. We'll throw this thing away. This is the only one of those kinds of items we've run into so far. So it's not necessarily great for us in terms of getting our skill level up with that type of weapon. Looks like you can move the statue if you try. Yes. So that'll let me get... Oh. Okay, I thought I, I, thought I closed that before. There we go. So, Roger, are you here? It looks like Roger's in still engaged in research. Oh, okay. So he is here. Cutscene? Is that what's happening? Okay. Mm, I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, what? What are you looking for, Roger? Have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. <laughs> Research journal. Oh, the Can notes we grabbed. Yeah. What's there can actually happen or not? Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Branwyn tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Well, yeah. Just as I thought. Elaine said so. But that's so frightening that it's... Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigre document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. The, comp <laughs> the prep work was murdering a bunch of people. The impossibility of fusing the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. Moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. 
Oh, okay, yeah. the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oft times speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them uh, puppeteers. <laughs> so they had zombies built Stonehenge or something? Pointing the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is impossible. Then how do you return the resurrected body okay, once Okay, so how are you still around? What did you do? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. It is not you have to sever the body to let her soul be free. Impossible. But I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. Yeah, we got the arm. If we throw that into a cauldron, we will successfully destroy the roots of the tree of life. Okay, I don't know why that would work, but sure. Whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water, it is so complicated. Fire no. or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Well, hopefully we can pull that. I like that he's just wandering off. <laughs> we just gave him the notes and he's like, Oh, notes! I'm going to go off in my own world now. Alright, thank you, Roger. That was somewhat helpful. Uh, so we need to use the arm we found. I guess that's what that's for. And we throw it in a cauldron and... Bingo, bango, bongo, it works? I guess? I don't know. Oh, I guess I don't need to go that way, do I? I need to go this way. I kind of wonder if visiting Charlotte's grave now does anything, now that we freed her spirit as well. I'd kind of like to go back and check that, but we'll probably do that in between videos just to see if anything happens. I don't know, maybe there's something else on Daniel's grave. It seemed kind of weird that that grave was just there for the cutscene, but I mean, that could also be the way it was made. Okay, so if we go back down here, we should be able to get through this door now, I guess? Now that we have some sort of plan for destroying the body. We just cross up here. Are we going to let me through now? There we go. Okay, cool. Vestry, first floor. Oh, the vestry. I believe that's where uh, priests go to change into and out of the robes. What's this? Pistol rounds. Don't need it. Anything here? You see six dolls. It looks like the lower four dolls can be moved. You want to move the first doll? No? You want to move the second doll? No. 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 I don't know what we're supposed to do with that yet. I prefer not to mess with a puzzle before I have some clue about what I'm supposed to be doing. Roman nuts? Why not? Anything else here? Nope. This goes somewhere. Something on the ground. Or table, I guess. Shotgun shells? Sure. Not even really using the shotgun at this point, but, you know. Good to have them when I do start using it. What are we up against here? We haven't been in this area yet. We got some new enemies. I feel like I've seen the scorpion guy before, and maybe the weird wheel thing. Are you gonna do scorpion? Stand there weirdly? Sure. Let's go ahead and throw out a geyser on that guy. We'll have Edward take a swing at him. Ba boom. Hey, not bad. 
wait. What's that guy gonna do? And let's start having Edward throw out Reflects. Oops. I want to start powering up the Reflect spell because I feel like it's going to be pretty useful. We'll cast Reflect on Edward so that if someone tries to hit him with a spell, he's fine. He's the one that needs the most help from spells, so I think it makes sense throwing Reflects on him. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Took that guy out. Feels pretty good. We got the guy in the back left. Wait. Oh, that Reflect spell. Perfect. Did that hit him or not? I'm, I'm unclear. It looked like it missed. No, he got it. Okay, cool. We'll wait then. He's gonna throw out a spell. Throw it at Edward. See what happens. Oh, got reflected. Did it actually take damage from that though? I'm not. I'm unclear. <laughs> I don't know if that actually helped us. <laughs> At the very least, it didn't hurt Edward, so I guess it helped. Stab him. Yeah, didn't like that, did ya? Let's go ahead and throw out another geyser. Maybe we'll have James throw out another reflect. I would like to start getting the fortify skills up a little bit too. I haven't really used them much. Like, if I fortify Vitality and I get, like, a really big fortify on it, that might let me survive Gargoyle Swings. But that was a lot of damage. 4,000 is crazy. Let's see. Get that up, that up. We get a little more agility. And sure, why not some luck? Boom, boom. We even boost his Vitality again, because apparently we're going to need some Vitality by the end of this. I'll grab a little more piety. Piety doesn't matter as much for him now since I have claws and rod. Okay. Two items to throw away, huh? What do we want to get rid of? Haven't been using that. And we can probably get rid of... I don't think I need all of these guns that I'm carrying. Maybe we throw away... I wish it said which ones were equipped. We can probably throw away my starter pistol. ESA pistol? I got another pistol at some point, didn't I? Shotgun, rifle. Yeah, I got an automatic pistol. So we can go ahead and toss this, probably. I don't feel too bad about it. It's our starter pistol. It didn't do a bunch of damage. Anything over here? Okay, I thought that might be a staircase, but it's not. Oh, I accidentally went back out the door. Don't know what I need to do with those dolls, but I guess we'll figure that out. What is back in here? Okay. Is this anything? The door won't open. It looks like it's been designed to open using a trick mechanism of some sort. Okay. So that's got to be the dolls. Okay, well, I guess we'll go do the doll puzzle then. So what do we need to do for this puzzle is the question. You see six dolls. It looks like the lower four dolls can be moved. Let me take a good look at these dolls. Maybe I need them all to look in a direction. Move the first doll? Sure. Oh, okay. Second doll? No. Third doll? Oh, we do want to move that. Okay, I think I want them all to look in the center, is my guess. So if I move the third doll, that probably fixes it. Yeah. Okay, that was actually, I guess, not really a puzzle. <laughs> it was, was kind of obvious. Just have them all look in the middle. I couldn't tell what direction they were looking, though, just because of, you know, the, the fidelity of the graphics here. Let's take a look at our time. All right, yeah, we still got a good amount of time here. Let's go into this next room. Vestry, first floor. Got anything over here? Oh. Okay, kind of weird that that is a separate camera. Is there anything over here? Oh, maybe. What's all this? Got in a fight before I could check. 
Who are we up against? Okay. I've seen this type of monster before, but it was a different color, so we've got a pal we've got a couple pallet swaps here. Alright, well, let's throw out a geyser. See how that does for us. He's moving in. He wants to take a swing. What you gonna do, buddy? Ow! 500? Okay. Guess I gotta respect that. We'll have him hop back and take a swing. Nice. Okay. Looks like the water's gonna do a pretty good amount of damage. That guy's casting a spell. Let's go ahead and throw out another reflect. For Edward. Since he's already hurt, it would be good to have him feeling a little bit nicer. A little bit more protected. For magic, anyway. Take it rid of him. Nope, still alive, huh? Okay. Pretty tough. Alright, what are you gonna do? What kind of spell are you casting? Ooh, bad person to cast it on. That ain't gonna work. It looked like some sort of water thing, but I have no idea. Running around in the background. Okay, the big blob thing is probably just about dead. We got Reflect Cast on Edward. We'll wait. Then we'll go with a... We'll throw out another geyser. I think that thing's almost dead, so I'm going to throw one on that one. See how that does for us. Uh, didn't do a lot. We could have done more there. Alright, so we'll have Edward step forward and take a stab at the weird blob. Oh, I needed to move him forward even further, didn't I? I didn't think I knocked that guy that far back. Alright, well, never mind. Let's have James step up and take a swing at this guy. I think we can probably kill him. Depending on what this weapon does. Okay. Well, that definitely wasn't what we wanted. Now, he's gonna get hit pretty hard. A thousand. Yikes! That one kinda hurt. He gets two swings! Okay, well, that's a chance to use Reflect, I guess. I'm surprised I got guy to attack twice. Three times? What is this about? Why are you gonna go over and over again? Stab him. There we go. That finish him? No, he's still alive. Okay. Why is this thing so tough? I should have cast the second geyser on it, I guess. I didn't think it was going to be this strong. We'll take him out, and then we'll revive James. There we go. That stopped him. And Edward can move up towards the back. You usually don't hear this part of the song. I'm usually done with the battle by now. Okay, wait. He's gonna do some dumb nonsense, which will either get reflected back at him or not hurt Podelka. Yeah. And he's gonna cast another spell, I bet. He's gonna just like run over in the corner and do that. I guess we'll have Edward run forward a little bit. Cast heal on yourself, Edward. We'll go ahead and revive James, just because it would be good to level up revive a little bit. There we go. Decent amount of health back, not bad. I imagine that revive probably doesn't take as many casts. Oh. Why did his weapon level go up? I thought you only gained weapon level for actually attacking with it. Take a swing at him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Two swings. Heal yourself, it's not gonna do a whole lot, but, you know. A little bit's nice. We couldn't get in range to attack anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right, let's try Tornado. Since the geyser did not do very much damage. Well, it didn't do much damage either, but it killed him, so that'll work. Okay. A little bit more threatening stuff here. It's just a regular fight. Surprised that guy got to take so many swings in a row. That was uh, pretty shocking. Grab a couple more vitality, a strength, and an agility. I'm gonna boost them up a little bit. Elixirs. Well, I would like some elixirs. I really wish I knew which rings I had equipped. I should just open it up and, like, look. We can probably throw out... Let's throw out this normal pea spear, I guess. I think that one was the poison one. Maybe it's the paralysis one. Is there anything back here? Okay, there is. What is this? Oh, it's a door. I see. Okay, let's take a look at the map so we have some idea of what's actually happening here. Okay, so this is its own room, and then there's another room attached to that room I just came out of. Alright, well, anything in here? Let's see. Nothing on the ground around the outside. Anything over here? Okay, I... I had a feeling I would be able to step up there. Okay, what is all this? Oh? It looks like there's something in the shadows, but you can't see well. Maybe if you lit a candle. Okay, sure. So I need something to light a candle with. I guess a match? Like a tinder box or something? Very well. Let's check this door, then. It's the only other place we haven't been. Something's not right. Oh, this is a boss fight, huh? Okay, well, we're right at time to be quitting. So, I would like to... I guess we can go ahead and try the boss fight. This will be a save point room anyway, I believe. Take a look at the map. Yeah, okay. Since this is a save point, we'll just go ahead and... fight whatever it is here get this save point unlocked. What's this? Nothing? Okay, so if I step up here, we'll get in a fight. Yep! Okay, boss fight. What are we up against? <clears throat> what is that thing? What in the world am I looking at? Alright, we do need to heal James up, because he was still injured after that last fight, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I guess we step Edward forward and take a swing. <laughs> oh, okay, that missed. What if... Okay, so... What is the element of Edward's weapon? That's what I gotta figure out. Before I take a swing, let's also take a look at this. Okay, this is Earth. Nope, we're not trying to run. No, he's not far enough up to hit him. I guess let's try a flare? Go ahead and get a heal out here. Yeah, there we go. Now he's looking good. Okay, Cordelka can just wait where she's at. What's the spell coming out here? Okay, some kind of laser, sure. It didn't do a ton of damage. Edward got paralyzed, though. Not exactly what we want to see. I guess let's maybe... Cast Reflect on... No, wait. I don't want to cast Reflect on Edward because that will stop me from being able to heal him. Does the heal spell actually heal status ailments? I don't know if it does, but we'll try it. Go ahead and hit him with the spell here. 
Oh, that uh, cured him. <laughs> Great. I don't know if that actually cures status ailments or not. I don't think I've ever really tried to cure status with it. It does not. Alright, well now we know. It's like standing still now. He was like waving back and forth there. Okay, a little bit more damage. Well, he's like really waving back and forth now. They're both paralyzed. Okay. Well, I do have items, right? That'll cure paralysis. Can I see a description of the item? No. Well, Panacea will do it. I would like to try and hit him with magic, though, so let's try a level 3 flare. He hasn't taken any damage so far, so if this doesn't work, we're not hurting ourselves here. Okay, yeah, that just cured him. So is he just cured by magic? I've only tried fire, so I guess we'll try a different spell. Okay, so for you, for yourself, let's go ahead and use a panacea so we can start moving again. So I'd like to get up there and start stabbing them if we can. That'd be pretty great. There we go. Okay, so fire didn't work. Let's try water. Doing the laser again. Okay, he just does the laser over and over again, and it looks like it just affects everybody on a, the same line. But it can paralyze, so I don't love that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So water did some damage. That'll help us out. He can move now, so let's have him step up and take a stab. <laughs> okay, that's a miss. I'm not sure what's exactly happening here. He either gets healed or I miss. Okay, a little bit more damage on them. Are they does that paralyze every time? It does not. Okay, good. Um Let's try a tornado and see if that does more damage. Nope, that just missed. Okay. So I guess that means he's probably weak to earth. We missed with this weapon, so I think we need to switch weapons. Let's grab... Let's grab the Light Claws? He's got good unarmed. Let's, like, run up next to him. Alright, let's try Megalith. Oh! Physical swing that time. Did a thousand. Oh, he's, like, shaking again. What is that about? Oh, hold on a second. I think I understand now. Okay, so while he's shaking, he gets healed by magic? Is that what's happening? I feel like that's what's happening. Okay. Oh, wait, he is moving. Uh, please don't heal him. Okay, cool. Did we get him? It looks like we got him. Oh my god, thank you. Okay. Go ahead and take our level up here. 
Oh, if you need a couple levels, okay. Cool to see. Oh man, we got three levels. Boost those. Boost that. Get a little here. Get some that there. Yep. Uh-huh. Get the piety up a little bit more. Wanted a little bit more vitality. Okay, well that was ridiculous. We gained a bunch of levels. Oh, crossbow. Okay, we'll take the crossbow. We'll probably get rid of the bow gun then. Okay, so, I did that fight. I am going to cut out a bunch of that fight because it was just mostly annoying and slow. So basically, the deal with that boss was, um, whenever he's, like, shimmying back and forth, kind of moving back and forth, he heals from magic. And I actually was not able to determine what kind of weapon I wanted to use on him. I just kind of waited for the right moments to hit him with spells with Kodelka. That's how that ended up working out. Uh, kind of an annoying fight, but he's actually not that dangerous. He, his spells don't do a lot of damage, he just does a decent amount of physical damage, and you have to get up to hit him with physical attacks, because you don't want to use magic. So, yeah, overall a little annoying, but we made it to the end, and that'll be it for today. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!